Good afternoon, Nini. Good afternoon. Could you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Nini. My full name is Kenny Nidane. I am the first uh, PhD holder of UNESCO IIT. And when was it that you studied here? I studied uh, starting from 1987 to 1988 for my postgraduate diploma in Branch D. At that time we call it Branch D and it is computational hydraulics. And can you please tell me what it is that you are currently involved with? I'm currently involved with uh, many things, but everything to do with water. And uh, actually my last uh, presentation I made before I came to Holland was water footprint. I'm also teaching in Yangon Technological University in Burma, Myanmar, and we have established the first uh, water resources planning, development and management PhD course. I'm involved in that and I teach uh, integrated water resources management and there I introduce water footprints. Water footprints uh, theory and also the um, kind of, uh, you know, awareness, thinking, philosophy, everything is come out of uh, Holland, the Netherlands. And I hear that you're also involved in AIT. Could you please tell me also what uh, the Asian Institute of Technology means to you at this point? Well, Asian Institute of Technology is the higher education institute uh, that uh, promotes uh, the professionals uh, from Asia and beyond. We do a lot of um, trainings and masters, uh, PhD courses for professionals around Asia. Actually, Asian Institute of Technology was established in 1959. We have celebrated 50th anniversary in 2009. So actually, UNESCO IHG and Asian Institute of Technology are only two years apart. UNESCO IHG is two years older than Asian Institute of Technology. But on the other hand, Asian Institute of Technology has three schools, uh, School of Engineering and Technology, School of Environment, Development and Resources, and School of Management, whereby UNESCO IG is working on water and it is Institute for Water Education. So I see these two institutes as complementary to each other. And also we have established the double degree program. So UNESCO IIT and AIT work hand in hand also for the water sector. I'm very busy also promoting other universities uh, which has also focus on water and women. For example, Asian University for Women it's uh, situated in Chittagong, Bangladesh, that also promotes a lot of women. And it is only for women and Asian women. And we try to produce them as leaders for the 21st century. So I'm also teaching there for dams and development issues and hydropower, interdisciplinary, um, communication, etc. Can you maybe explain briefly how uh, your education at UNESCO IG has also helped in your future uh, development of your career? Yeah, it has already proven because you see, as I told you earlier, I arrived here in 1987 and at that time I had a cultural shock because I have never been to Europe, I have never been abroad and I was uh, thinking, you know, there is a set of rules, what is right and what is wrong and here I found another set of rules, what is right and what is wrong, you know, I was really totally upside down. There for uh, UNESCO IHG, at that time we call it IHG, you know, and UNESCO IHG came into being in 2003. So, and then I have my master's in 1989, and then I started my PhD after that, straight away, and I finished my PhD on 30th of May 1994. 
May 1994. So, okay, my journey from 1987 to 1994 taught me not only the science, computational hydraulics, water morphology, and hydroinformatics. It has a lot to do with Dutch culture and value system and Western philosophy and compare with the Eastern philosophy. So I try to, I mean, catch up with all the good things. I get it from UNESCO IIT and I determine to use the best of the both worlds. And I understand that there are less valuable things in each and every one and each and every culture, so that I try to throw it away because my bag has to be full as well with good stuff. So I'm doing it for the, you know, picking up all the best of two worlds. And that has shaped me to get into the very key positions, I must say. You know, it's not that um, position high or low but useful, very useful key positions like the one I hold in United Nations Environment Program for the dams and development and also another is in UNESCO. I was uh, chief of section for water, sustainable water management, you know, under this uh, current uh, director, Professor Shulu Sinaji. So I think that I reached to that height is just because of the education I got in Asia and added up with UNESCO IIT education, which is really very much condensed, mm. you know. Yes. And without that, I don't think I will be here talking to you. <laughs> and I will be traveling to Leuven tomorrow. And then uh, I will give uh, seminar teaching uh, next week, you know. So I'm a kind of a flying teacher and I have many useful people around me whom I can connect to. So that, that is really fulfilling and I don't think uh, it is possible without UNESCO IG. That's great. I would like to make a very, very profound thank you to UNESCO IG that it is my alma mater and I will never forget and I'm here all by, you know, all for UNESCO IG, whatever I can help and of course also to you. Well, we are very lucky to have you as our ambassador. Thank you very much.